<laughs> um, it's all good. No worries. We'll just we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Well, that's what makes it fun. <laughs> that's <Yeah>. right. <laughs> it, it keeps it relatable. Yes. Okay, so now that we're on there, oh, there you go. Yes. So can you request to join? Oh, let's see. Does have to be up top more? I, I hear you talking and I hear the background noise. Do you just hear it through the phone or through the Instagram? Okay, I'm going to hang up on this and then we'll see if we can hear you. Um, although where is Aaron? Maybe it's just taking a minute. Did we talk about the ghost walk? Did I miss that? No. Yeah. We did not talk about the ghost walk yet okay. while we find Aaron again. Yes. Ghost Walk, August 17th, the Clarkston Historical Society is putting that on. And it's all a walk down through, a curated walk through through downtown Clarkston. And there are going to be actors mm -hmm. set up at each ghost um, haunt. And the actors are going to tell you the story about, you know, what ghost is haunting what building here in Clarkston. So you can get that those tickets. Um, uh, or where can we get those tickets? Um, through the Historical Society. The Historical Society. Yes, also linked on our website. Let's see, Erin, if you can hear us, if you can request to join again for some reason that time didn't go through. <clears throat> um, let's see, what else is happening this weekend while we're just waiting? Oh, she sent you a request. You request. Yeah. There we go. Go live. We'll get you. We'll find you. <laughs> um, so things to do this weekend. Oh, okay. hello. All right. There Here we go. go. I wonder what's, well, whatever. We just needed to take a break and come back and try again. We have yeah. some. What? <laughs> I said we have some. Houston, we, we have some. Good. Work. You can hear us. We can hear you. Oh, I'm glad we... <laughs> Connected. We look like two floating heads, Katie and I do, though. Like, let's see. This could get better or much worse. We'll see. This is all part of our very professional. It's it's like a studio, guys. Very yes, slick. I mean, very I mean. slick. Uh, we're trying to say crew. Shh. Yeah. Quiet on the set. Yep. Quiet on the set. The the audience. Quiet those extras, those production crews, those hands. <laughs> the boom mics are just flopping everywhere. Yes. It's it's a lot to take in over here. I love it. It's mostly just our kids who are um, running you know, around, running around crazy. We've threatened to stay quiet for yeah. the next 20 minutes. Yeah. But anyway, hi, welcome. I'm glad you joined us. Well. Oh, oh my gosh. Now we can't hear you. Hmm. There you go. Can you hear me now? Oh, yes. There you're back. You're back. All right. Okay. Yeah. No, thanks for having me on and appreciate your patience through my technological difficulties here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no worries. I'm really excited to talk to you because, well, for many reasons, um, I'll just start backwards, though, because we were at the Chamber Golf Outing last week, and I am a terrible golfer, and I had a really good shot, one good shot, and the one good shot happened to be on the closest to the pin, so I won tickets to the Ally Challenge. I heard, actually, I heard your name mentioned yesterday in the Clarkston Outing. They were saying that um, there's a very good chance that the gentleman who came inside your shot, who was going to represent them at our par three showdown, can't make it. So you may be shooting under the lights at the Ally Challenge what? on Saturday, August 23rd for a dollars <laughs> cash money. Okay. So get okay, how much? Right. <laughs> Say that again. What? How much money is this worth, possibly? Well, if you get a hole in one that day, you can take home ten thousand dollars. Oh, for sure. Just Got write it. the check right now. We Just have to go practice. So this is a done deal. That is 
it's uh, part of a project we've been doing all summer to engage golfers in the region. We've gone to 10 clubs and five chambers and sponsored their par three for their outings for the member member or the chamber outing. And then one person qualified from each outing to come represent that club or that, that city. And then they will play out the ultimate par three showdown under the lights Friday after the PGA tour champions pros compete before Smash Mouth takes the stage, you'll be hitting a shot for the closest to the pin on the hole at work. Shot to the front door. I don't <laughs> feel qualified for this. I can I choose a sub? Can I be like a pinch hitter? A pinch, you know. We'll we'll talk about it later. It'll be amazing. <laughs> I know you'll be amazing, um, and you'll be representing. I think you might be the only female who has qualified and yes, represented. Not only are you. <laughs> You're representing Clarkston, but you're representing women everywhere. No, no pressure. No pressure. No I pressure. feel the shoulders can handle it. Let's go. <laughs> I love it. I might I just like sick that day or yeah. it's amazing. That is insane. But um I need to process that information. And I'm just already thinking, what am I gonna do with that ten thousand yeah. dollars? <laughs> it's already spent. <laughs> already I love it. No, that is insane. Wow, well, that's super exciting. It's a, it's so exciting. Good day to invite your friends and family out to the Ally Challenge presented by McLaren to come cheer you on Friday. But um, it's kind of a fun way that we're bridging some of the, the professional golf that happens during the day on the course. And then, of course, the activities in the evening, concerts, festivals, things that we're doing throughout the evening mm -hmm. during tournament week um, in, involving and engaging our community. This is just one of the many ways we're doing that this year. Well, that's so nice. cool. So can you back up and tell us, give us a rundown of the Ally Challenge, what we're, what, what's in store for us yeah. in the next couple yeah. weeks? We're inside of two weeks now. We are very close. It starts up August 19th and runs through the 25th. Um, it is the seventh playing of the Ally Challenge presented by McLaren, which is a PGA Tour Champions event. So these are the players who are really legends of the game. These are players aged 50 and older. Many people grew up watching these guys play the Buick Open. Mm -hmm. um, Ernie Els has qualified. VJ Singh is qualified. They're playing out in the, the tournament this year. Um, we've got a lot of great names over the years. Jerry Kelly, Paul Broadhurst, guys that have made a name. Many of them have won majors. They're Hall of Famers. They're legends in their own right. So they compete on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then throughout tournament week, we just have a number of activities that engage our family, the youth in the region, um, a couple days of pro-ams, and then two nights of major concerts. On Friday night, we'll be welcoming Smash Mouth to the stage on the famous 17th hole and they'll play out after a competition and the par three showdown. And then on Saturday, the ally community concert will welcome Thomas Rhett, country music superstar, Thomas. Mm -hmm. Rhett. Yeah. Wow. And um, so a few things, one, if you're just joining, we're, uh, talking with Aaron Stone about the ally challenge and just getting some info on what will be happening. Um, when we were putting together information to share out, I think I read where the winner of this wins like $2.2 .2 million. Is that correct? Yes. The purse for this champions tour event, 2.2 .2 million. Exactly right. Oh my wow. gosh. And then as far as like the charitable side of this um what is raised i know i was reading crazy number you know just amazing things that this has done in the past yeah. can you tell us about that and where the money goes yeah it's a great question a lot of people don't realize um almost all golf tournaments are formatted as 501c3 nonprofit organizations so the pga tour is very passionate about giving back to the communities that we play in and so all the proceeds from the tournament go to charity in the local area so we last year we did 1.2 million just from the performance of the 2023 tournament and in total over the last six years we've done 7.3 million dollars for charity that is funneled right back into our Southeast Michigan charities. We had 33 organizations who received grants from funds from the Ally Challenge last year. So a lot of really good giving, a lot of really good give back. Obviously you buy a ticket, you get a great entertainment experience, but you can feel good knowing that those dollars are going to really meaningful causes in our community. That's amazing. So how do those charities get chosen or do they submit proposals to you guys? There's two ways. 
ways um, we do charity giving. One is through our charity partner, which is the United Way of Genesee County. Um, they help us identify organizations that fit the, the mission and vision of our title and presenting sponsors, Ally and McLaren. And then any charity can register to be part of our chip-in program, the Ally Charity Chip-in. And we take those applicants in the spring and we put them in the program. And the program is a way to generate awareness throughout the region. And then we give matching grant dollars for funds that they raise through the program. So um, that's another 20 plus organizations that are part of that program. Wow. That's amazing. How, how do we get rid of this stuff? Sorry. They stay. Oh, they stay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Do you see that on your end, Erin? I know this is like a side note, but do you see all these little, the people popping, the people in, and popping in on your Oh, I, okay. yeah. That, no. Yeah. Oh. Oh, which is not, okay. Side note. So, um, oh, go ahead. One thing too, we were at the Clarkson area chambers, women in business event. And I think you spoke right before we okay. went out to present. Um, and I know you shared just a ton of information at that point, And I was thinking, wow, I did not realize like what a huge outreach this program has. Um, but then I think I saw too, do you guys hold your own women, like influential women event? We do. It's called the Women of Influence Luncheon. Um, and we, that we did sponsor the Clarkston Women in Business, which is such a great event that the Clarkston Area Chamber hosts. Um, it's our second year sponsoring that. We've really enjoyed that. But we thought the connection was great. Clarkston celebrates their successful women and the women of the region. We do something similar during tournament week. Uh, we focus on a local, a regional, and a national impactful woman in her career, in her community as well. Um, they're part of our panel. We always have a charity spotlight that usually benefits women and children's organizations. This year, it's the YWCA of Genesee County. Um, and the luncheon will be on Thursday, August 22nd, but it is sold out. So we, oh, this wow. year... Oh, um, well in advance of our typical timeline. So we have about 175 women who will join us. We do a really beautiful luncheon right on the course on the 17th hole. We set the whole event up in one of the, the actually the Miller Lite beer garden. So for one day, it turns into a beautiful event location. And then for the public, the rest of that weekend, they can come enjoy the Miller Lite beer garden with any grounds ticket can get access to that venue. Wow. That's amazing. Amazing. Can you tell us about the 17th hole too, the meaning behind the 17th hole? Yeah. Yes, it's, it's iconic um, for so many people who grew up uh, coming to the Buick Open and, and maybe seeing Tiger play over the years, John Daly, so a lot of these characters in golf. <laughs> hole was the party hole right it was the spot to be um, rumor has it there's kegs buried in the hills I don't know <laughs> that. that's just rumor and hearsay, but, um, so it, it sounds like it was it was quite the scene and so we've really worked to create that energy again and, and bring that party and that life and spirit back to the ally challenge presented by mclaren so we've had a really nice time building up the suites and the public venues and the bars and the and the spaces around the 17th hole it's a beautiful par three shot so i think people really enjoy when you're watching a par three at a pro golf tournament because you get to you get to see the results of it without having to traverse the length of the hole right. um, and we do something called Miller, birdie time is Miller time. So every time a pro hits a birdie, we do uh, $2 beers for all Miller beers and a, a discount on White Claws across all the bars mm -hmm. for seven minutes. We put a shot clock on the scoreboard and everyone can go and grab a $2 beer. So people enjoy the party of the $2 mm -hmm. Miller time is, uh, birdie time is Miller time, but um, the 17th hole is definitely where it's at. That's where all the activity action and the the party happens that, that's so great i mean i remember my i wasn't into golf as much but my dad and brothers went to the buick open a few times and i was thinking about it so the ally challenge is it going to be at warwick for the foreseeable future is there a time limit like how does that contract or if, if it is a contract how does that work yeah it's a definitely when you bring a title sponsor on board in the PGA Tour and PGA Tour Champions tournaments, um, you work closely with the league. It's kind of like having a franchise location of a, a PGA Tour event. Um, so it is a it is a process to get in the calendar and to earn the right to have one of those tournaments. Um, and then you marry that up with your your title and your presenting sponsor, in our case, Ally and McLaren Healthcare. Um, we do our current um, 
our current contract is through 2025 and there's lots of things in the works for beyond that. Mm -hmm. But um, I will say we are very fortunate mm -hmm. to have Ally have selected this region because, you know, when you, when you think about golf tournaments and you turn on the golf channel or NBC on the weekend, they're all over, right? They're all over the nation. They're in Pebble beach and new Orleans and um, there, I mean, coast to coast, all through the Midwest and the South, um, golf tournaments there's only so many weeks of the summer mm -hmm. and the fact that we snagged one of those weekends and we're right here in grand blank michigan you know just a stone's throw from clarkston um, it it's really a privilege for us to host such a high caliber event and bring that kind of entertainment to our community yeah no that's so fantastic i mean i know michigan is a golf destination i mean the summer hours you know extends the golf time quite a bit versus some other places in the country so it's just great yeah i love that we can bring big names and big tournaments and um, we get a little piece of the action because you know we're not in california like we, we don't get all that kind of big time action so much here so it's really cool for us to be able to get a you know a little piece of it yeah okay i, I think for all of us who live up in this region right we probably love our detroit sports don't get me wrong i love going to a baseball game or red wings game but it's so nice to be able to do something right in our neighborhood, right? Where the, yeah. you're driving a little bit north, you're driving 10 minutes north instead of 45 minutes right. south and have to fight the traffic and the parking decks and all, all the hubbub that comes with going to a downtown sports and entertainment event. You know, now you get something right here in your community. And where can you go watch an artist like Thomas Rhett or Miranda Lambert last year or Kane Brown, yeah. where you're literally on a driving range. You're on this beautiful golf course, green space out in the community. And it's, you know, it's, you know, top caliber talent for a community feel. It's really special. Can you give us just a little rundown of um, if there are tickets still available and kind of the ticket options? I know I had friends that were looking at Thomas Rhett tickets this weekend yeah um and we were discussing like the deck for just in some of the different levels of seating so if you can give us a little rundown on that and what's still available yeah, yeah we at this point in the game um our like you said our suites are sold out and we're kind of full in the the hospitality spaces but we have grounds tickets are available everything is available on the allychallenge.com our, our urls pretty easy um, and we do use Ticketmaster so we link through and we actually cover the Ticketmaster fees so kind of refreshing not to get that 1450 fee on your ticket yeah. or what nowadays but um, you can get grounds tickets grounds tickets are kind of like general admission if you think of it that way for a golf tournament um, we've got plenty of venues on the course where any grounds ticket can access. We've got a viewing platform on the 18th green, the Miller Lite Beer Garden. We've got the new Milagro three-par bar on the 17th green where the party's at, the fan zone. Um, so they're, the mulligan seats, there's a lot of public accessible seating with that grounds ticket. But if you wanna take it up a notch and buy a little bit of an upgraded ticket, the porch is a venue that is elevated between the 18th green and the 19th green. So you get two views um, kind of up in the in a bird's eye view, so to speak, up in an elevated deck. Um, those tickets are available online as well, the porch. And I think the best value honestly is the weekend pass. Our tickets are only $40 for Friday, they're $75 for Saturday or they're $30 for Sunday. And all of that includes the concerts. It includes the golf. It includes the free party. Everything that's going on is included in that. Uh, but the weekend pass is $110 for all four days. And it actually includes Thursday's practice round as well. If you want to see the pros in a much more relaxed, chill environment. And then we've got a number of free things that we do. Um, Thursday is family fun night. So I know Clarkson's big in the family scene. Couple couple kids myself, and I appreciate how nice and friendly our community is for, for children. But on Thursday night from five to seven, we do a completely free family fun night. Anyone can come out, gates are open. Uh, and that's, you know, it's a great event. We offer pizza from Cottage Inn and Fago and ice cream. And then on um, Saturday, Friday and Saturday, of course, your tickets include the concerts. And then on Sunday, uh, Zenders is coming down from Frankie Booth. They're going to do chicken and waffles. Mm -hmm. Any fan course from 9.30 to 11 gets free breakfast with us. And uh, Kroger and Fager are going to be giving away Fago floats all afternoon Ooh. in the fan zone. Awesome. So there's just, yeah, there's a, a ton going on. A lot of ticket value. And the best part is 
kids 17 and under are completely free. They don't even need a ticket. So mom and dad buy a ticket and you bring the whole family out for a great affordable day. Wow. Tell me again uh, what day Anne will be competing. <laughs> and how much are we selling those tickets for? <laughs> Side note. <laughs> priceless. It's priceless. priceless. <laughs> uh, yes, that'll be Friday. Okay. Uh, the Third of August will be that par three showdown. So we always do on a night of a concert, we try to put a lot of programming between competition of the pros and the concert. So Friday, we've got this par three showdown. Friday is also Folds of Honor Friday. So we're dedicating the day to a new partnership in golf with Folds of Honor. We're gonna have a really special opening tea ceremony, presentation of the flags, national anthem. And then we have a few surprises up our sleeves for the conclusion Ooh. of play at five o'clock before Ann hits, of course, which everyone will be lined up to see. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then Friday night, Smash Mouth, that concert is actually right there on the 17th hole. So all the action of, of Friday night is kind of right there on 17. Um, but that that day will be good. So it's the 23rd, 24th, and 25th. So just two weeks. Two week. Nice. That's awesome. Um, I know you've been working literally all year for this. So are you ready to take a big, deep breath in a, a <laughs> couple of weeks? Yes. <laughs> Yes, I, I always get a, I love that question when somebody says, what do you do the rest of the year? I said, well, imagine what it takes to put this week together. That's what we do the rest of the year is, is put all the pieces in place in order to host a, an event of this caliber. So, um, yeah, candidly, we're, we're probably all ready for a little um, Indian <laughs> summer. Yeah. Well, we'll it's funny because. I did. Um, so Aaron is an amazing tennis player okay. as an aside, as an yeah. aside. And we were playing or sitting after tennis one day. And I was, I said, I asked that I now I think it's a little naive of a question. I'm like, what do you do the rest of the year? I, I was one of those people. <laughs> I don't think I fully understood all that's involved in the LA challenge. I didn't really even know what the whole tournament was about. Like, I'm so glad that you're here and telling us more information because it puts a lot of context to Oh, yeah, it will take an entire year to get this figured out and lined up and all the sponsors and just all the moving parts and pieces. And how many events are involved before it. Yeah. Um, we probably, so. between the pro-ams and the parties and the launch parties, I mean, there's probably going to be, you know, 15 events in the in the seven-day span. So all, each of those, you know, have a respective planning process and sponsorship process. But we welcome about 160 corporate partners to the, to the mix. And so each, all year we kind of work on building those opportunities and, um, you know, new partnerships like Kroger. We welcomed Kroger this year, brand new partner to the, to the mix. And we're out there with a really cool six foot golf ball. Here's the, the, the tip of the day. We have this golf ball at the Flushing Kroger. And if you make a $10 donation to help fight food insecurity as part of Kroger's Zero Waste, Zero Hunger initiative, uh, you can get a complimentary ticket to the Ally Challenge for a $10 donation. Wow. So, that, yeah, so that 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 kind of community initiative is happening throughout the year as well, where we're marrying our corporate partners and their mission and their prerogatives and how the tournament can continue to push forward those those goals. Um, maybe you already said this. How many golfers compete? <coughs> 78 golfers will take to the course. Okay. Yep, and we just announced, uh, if you check out our Instagram or our Facebook handles at theallychallenge.com, we just put out a little field update. We're, we're pretty excited to see some of the legends and of the game coming back. Ernie Els, we haven't seen him in a couple of years. Most people know he is, of course, the legend of the game. So uh, we did announce Ernie Els will be coming back to compete. Vijay Singh, our returning champion, but 78 players in total, so it'll be a great field. Nice. And then how many um, spectators? Yeah, over, over the course of tournament week, we'll welcome 50,000 fans across this course. Oh gosh, okay. So it, That's nuts. It, what about, um, oh, I'm not going to say it. It's a sore subject. I was like, ooh, the traffic in 75, and what a mess. I'm not going to talk about that. How about parking? Can we talk about where do yeah. people park? Is it uh, an easy piece or... Tell us about that instead. We always say, if you can get through 75, which all of us in the summer, if it's not here, it's there. It's somewhere in our city. Yes. Gotta love living in Michigan and Metro Detroit, right? But um, 
once you get through 75, it's an easy experience. Uh, you can park at Grand Blank High School, completely uh, easy, accessible parking right here and right just a few miles off I-75, exit 108. Um, and parking, we shuttle you right to the front door. So it's a very easy process. Uh, and you'll see we've got obviously I anticipate a lot of fans that the concert draws out a, a very large fan base for us on Saturday nights. Uh, but we think the in and out is pretty easy. And then Saturday night after the concert, after Thomas Rhett concludes, we'll uh, put a drone show up in the sky, mm -hmm. help uh, fans really enjoy and ease into the exodus. Because um, we know, of course, <laughs> that's coming right. out. Of is it like a big, it, they create like an arrow, like yeah. leave. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly yeah. the exits, right? Yeah. No, um, yeah, the, the drone show. Actually, we're do we're doubling up on our number of drones in the sky. So, first time, sec first time we did it was last year. Drones are a really popular shift in the firework mm -hmm. phenomenon of years past. Much cleaner, a little more environmentally friendly um, alternative to that aerial show. Mm -hmm. um, but that is sponsored by Genesee County, and it is going to be spectacular. So, oh, if you come That's for the show, Fred, yeah. yeah. Get another beer, grab another Miller Lite, and uh, look up at the sky for our, our drone show to close out the evening. That sounds amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And you're going to be there. So. I mean, this is new news. <laughs> Still processing. I have to get out in the golf course then, is what I'm hearing. Oh, get yeah. to the driving I, range. I will tell you, just practice. another good tip for your viewers is avoid 75 and come up Dixie Highway. That's the best way to, especially from Clarkston, uh, obviously everything Clarkston on your podcast. I live and play in Clarkston, my hometown, and Dixie Highway is where it's at. That's a good tip. Yeah. So the Kroger and Flushing to get the free, well, donate for the food insecurity and then get a free pass. Yeah. And, the, and then the Dixie Highway, any other um, experience tips? Uh, I'll give you one more. Uh, this is a good little insider's tip at every Kroger in Michigan, but specifically throughout North Oakland County, um, we have a partnership going with Fago in the stores, our, our official soft drink partner, and we've got a, a scan to win QR code and they're actually sweet tickets we're giving away. So mm -hmm. like full open bar, sweet tickets. So stop by your local Kroger, go to the Fago aisle, pick up your favorite flavor. I like rock and rye. I'm just a fan. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> Scan to win, and we draw a, a winner every week. And the grand prize will be valet passes, four Thomas Rhett suite tickets, the whole nine yards suite for golf all day with with food, hospitality, open bar. That will be a that's another little little tip for the insiders watching. Stop good by there. Tips. Those are good tips, and I love that it's a Michigan brand. Yeah, and probably on purpose. I'm, I'm thinking. I'm hoping. <laughs> yes, we we love our Michigan roots. We try to stay true to our Michigan roots, and that some great partnerships in that respect. So there are, okay, so, so all, that's a, a lot of information and thank you, we appreciate that. Is it, all the tickets are still available at all of those different levels? All is the that tickets true? are still available. Um, golf is beautiful, you don't, it, it'd be really hard to sell out of green space, right? So we don't have a hard cap on, um, on, on tickets, but we encourage everyone to jump online, get your tickets now. I think if the weather is anything like today, uh, it's gonna be a beautiful weekend. No rain in the forecast. You hear that, Mother Nature? Right. No <laughs> crossing fingers. Uh, it's going to be a great week. And, and yeah, tickets are available. No, no limits at this point. So jump online and, and check us out and what we have to offer. Great. Fantastic. Tell us again before we um, let you go what the website and what the Instagram, what all the handles are. Yeah, we're at Ally Challenge across Facebook and Instagram. And our website is theallychallenge.com and we would welcome anybody to check us out follow us we'll send you the updates and we're looking forward to seeing everyone for a great week awesome Ooh, all right ham has gotta get out there and start practicing. i gotta leave She's this gonna win. very second yes and start playing golf right. <laughs> but we really right. appreciate you coming out and chatting with us and telling us all about it we're super excited for this event what a lot of work and well done thank you yep for having me and we appreciate your support we love our friends in clarkston and we look forward to welcoming the community right. thanks aaron see you on the see court you later <laughs> yeah bye-bye <laughs>